Ashrock continues to deliver their steel legend motherboards and today we're going to talk about Ashrock B660M steel legend. The cool thing today is that I have another motherboard from another brand which is in same price range same form factor and supports the same actual uh, processors so yeah it's going to be quite interesting to actually do the comparison but first uh, we're going to talk about all the specifications that this motherboard has now i'm going to pair it up with 12600k from intel and uh, it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see those comparison now when we take a look at the motherboard it has uh, already familiar design going with steel legend all throughout the motherboard even on the pcb board and then we have the familiar passive heatsink on the vrms and of course the passive uh, heatsink on the top m.2 slot now when we take a look closer at the motherboard it really does look quite nice in some sort of a white build but today let's check out some specifications so in io overview we have two usb 2.0 we have ps2 for mouse and keyboard bios flashback button hdmi and display port two usb 3.2 generation 1 2.5 g lan another two usb 3.2 generation 1 c sub in rear spdif out and microphone now this motherboard also has pci gen 5 with surface mount technology which uh, gives the pcb to improve signal flow and maximize stability under high speeds the pci gen 5 times 16 goes up to 128 gigabytes per second while the gen 4 goes up to 64 now this is double the speed but we are still waiting for pci gen 5 graphic cards now you have possibility to place two m.2 gen 4 times 4 uh, ssds which is outstanding you have dragon 2.5 gigabit per second lan and front usb 3.2 generation 2 times 2 type c uh, when we're talking about the power phase and power design we have nine power phase design plus dr mos which is equip equipped with 30 components which can deliver a smooth power i would actually suggest going with mid-range processors on this motherboard instead of a let's say for instance i9 12900k now as already stated a couple of times it supports 12 gen intel core processors uh, lga 1700 you have one pci express 5.0 times 16 and two pci express 3.0 times 1 one m key e for wi-fi you have six sata 3 ports one hyper m.2 socket which is gen 4 times 4 and one hyper m.2 socket which is gen 4 times 4 and sata 3 for the audio we have 7.1 channel hd audio realtek alc 897 audio codec then we have four dims for your ddr4 which go up to 5000 megahertz uh, in oc basically xmp enabled now uh, this motherboard uh, has the form factor of uh, micro atx and is designed for a smaller builds so yeah the cool thing is they even on basically on this uh, motherboard which is oriented in let's say a lower budget category or mid-range uh, it has a nice designed io cover which some motherboards uh, don't have they usually go with plain just no artwork or anything similar to that but it's not pre-attached you do need to be careful and place it before placing the motherboard so you don't have to do it all over again at the top we have 8 pin eps connector for your power for your cpu 24 pin you have three addressable rgb headers and one rgb headers uh, two are at the top one is at the bottom next to the rgb header and then when we're talking about pwm connection we have five pwm headers which is outstanding because some other boards in this category in this form factor have less so that's cool even though you can always use a splitter but still uh, it's more convenient sometimes just to use and connect them directly so you can i don't know in bios uh, adjust the speeds of the fans according and separately so yeah 
Now when we're talking about the speeds and everything, so uh, for the memory I use Team Group T-Force Extreme White addressable RGB on 3600MHz CL18 and when we're talking about the ASRock motherboard with the read speeds go up to almost 50,000 megabytes per second compared to the MSI Pro B660M a Wi-Fi DDR4 it got almost 52.5 gigabits per second so that's 2.5 gigabits per second more in write speeds ASRock got 52,133 while the MSI got 53,096 and copy is 3,000 lower than the MSI motherboard ASRock got 49,200 megabytes per second while MSI almost reaching 53 K. Benchmarking uh, 12600K on both motherboards in uh, Cinebench R23, uh, ASRock in single core got 1846 while the MSI 1869 and I wouldn't say that's huge difference, it's really small and I won't go here into details uh, because I noticed every time you rerun the tests it varies about 5 to 10 Cinebench points so it could be very close. And then we go to the multi-core, well ASRock goes up to 17,000 and uh, MSI goes to 16,948, which again, I would say it's very close and I wouldn't take that into consideration. Now checking out the SSD speeds, while well, this is quite interesting, I use Silicon Power X Power XS 1TB and in AS SSD, ASRock got uh, 5446 megabytes per second in read and 5333 megabytes per second write while MSI got 5000 in read that's 400 megabytes lower and shocking write speed got 1868 which is almost 3000 less megabytes than on ASRock now Checking something else, uh, Autodisk Benchmark, we have almost the similar speeds in read and write, then Crystal Disk Benchmark, again, just slight differences in a couple of megabytes, which isn't uh, something to worry about. And in IOPS, uh, random 4K read and write, there's literally not that much to worry about because the difference is very small. So basically what I would say is uh, the ASRock motherboard actually is quite nice board when we're talking about the speeds and comparison uh, next to the MSI Pro B660MA uh, Wi-Fi DDR4. Both of those run DDR4 memories because after all we're aiming for a budget board that can support uh, LGA1700 and still can acquire DDR4 memory. But uh, in terms of to lower the cost, DDR5 is still expensive and DDR4 is still affordable and you might even have DDR4 from your past build, so yeah. Now, taking ASRock into consideration in comparison to the MSI board, I think this is quite nice board, even though the speeds on the RAMs go a bit lower in some tests by a thousand, in some tests by a hundred. While the SSD speeds and processor perform equally and there's nothing to worry about. So basically, at the end, I would say that the only thing that you need to take into consideration is the RAM speeds and actually the looks because all the other performance is quite similar and you don't have to worry. I would even mention that the ASRock B660M Steel Legend has more connection on the audio and it's higher quality than on MSI so this will definitely give you a push towards the ASRock so yeah that's that. Now what's left to say is that the ASRock B660M Steel Legend is a quite interesting board for the let's say a budget category range for the Intel Core i5 12600K and really does perform nicely as already stated before. So you can check out the links below in the description uh, for more details and definitely for the price range. And finally, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, uh, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any future content. And well, I'll see you in another one. Thanks for watching today's one. See you next time. Bye bye.